okay dear students let us see what is there in this question a long straight vertical conductor carries a current i upwards an electron moves with horizontal speed v to the right what is the direction of the magnetic force on the electron okay so my dear student first of all in this chapter there are many laws many rules which can be used to find the direction of various uh, physical quantities but even then in all the questions that i have attempted from this kind of uh, this chapter i would say in every video i have tried to give you uh, all those laws so in this video again i am going to repeat those laws so please try to understand what are the laws that i am going to use in here so what i do is that i i call that law as right hand palm rule i do not go for fleming's right hand or fleming's left hand rule you can go for, go for those rules also but i believe those are little confusing but this right hand palm rule is very straightforward and if you are using this there is very less chance that you would be committing some mistake while you find the direction of some particular physical quantity so this right hand palm rule is of three types three types okay and so what is the first type so i am going to show you this now this is the right hand now uh, so i am writing the first rule and the first rule is to find the direction of magnetic field due to a current carrying wire now what happens is on this thumb which has to be actually perpendicular i am going to draw three di di the directions here and one is the palm direction so the thumb should be pointing towards the current and your palm should be pointing towards the point at which we are interested to find the direction of the magnetic field and our palm will give you the direction of the magnetic field why i am showing you this uh, fancy palm here in the video so that you can take the screenshot of this and you can keep it with you you can think about it like which rule is this okay so this is the first rule in which you can find the direction of the magnetic field now if we apply this thing on uh, in our question here so you can see that the current is in the upward direction and our electron is in this direction so i'm using my right hand now so i keep it like this my thumb is pointing towards the current and my fingers are pointing towards the point where i want to find the direction of the magnitude a uh, direction of the magnetic field so you can say that my fingers are pointing towards electron my thumb is pointing towards the current so my palm is pointing towards the laptop screen it is pointing towards you or you can say it is pointing inwards so the magnetic field is inwards here first of all now even now we are not able to find the force on the electron now what we do is again there is the second kind of uh uh uh, right hand palm rule that is what i am now going to tell so this is the second right hand palm rule and this is used to find the force on charges force on moving charges or force on positive moving charges moving charges as well as positive okay that is very important it is applied only on positive charges for negative we do something different so what we do now is again there are three axes this is, is one one is in which the fingers are pointing another in which the palm is pointing so here our thumb is now pointing towards the velocity vector of positive charge the velocity vector of positive charge fingers are pointing towards the magnetic field at that point and the palm will be giving you the direction of the force i need you to take the screenshot of this and keep it with yourself and try to think what is happening here okay now we are going to apply the same thing to our question so here the first thing is that the magnetic field is into the board or into the book so where is the velocity vector of the positive charge now electron is going in this way so positive charge will be assumed to move in the opposite direction so our thumb will be taken in the opposite direction magnetic field is into the board thumb is towards the positive direction so my palm is downwards so i can say that the force here will be downwards so our answer is a